I'm Jan Raymond, Managing Partner of Logis and Advisors. We're going to talk today about certainty of close. Most sellers think that as soon as they sign an LOI, they pretty much are sure that they're going to make a deal. But in fact, a significant number of deals that have signed LOIs do not make it to close. So we're going to talk about what it takes to get from LOI to close and to increase the likelihood of getting there. It applies in two different sections. It applies both pre-LOI, before you sign the LOI, and post-LOI. In pre-LOI, your advisor is going to put together a market map. They're going to decide which potential buyers have the financial resources to meet your expectations and also have the fit to make it likely that you're going to be able to make a deal. Uh, the second part is particularly important, the fit. It's not always the, the potential buyer who offers you the most uh, sale price that is actually the most likely to get to close. The reason being that even though they may offer the most, they're going to do their IOR, uh, internal uh, and, uh, return, uh, ROI, return on investment, or their IRR, internal rate of return calculations to figure out how they're going to justify the price that they're paying to you. And if there is not a good fit, as you drill down in due diligence, it's become, going to become more apparent that the, that the fit doesn't make it and therefore the synergies that were expected will not be realized and the deal will not make it to a close. So often the buyer that is not necessarily the highest buyer is the best buyer because they have the best fit and therefore are more likely to get you to close. You're more likely to, uh, less likely, excuse me, to have obstacles come up in due diligence that could scuttle the deal. So that's the, the uh, certainty of close aspect of pre-LOI. Post-LOI, we get into due diligence, or as I refer to it, the deal colonoscopy, because they're not just going to look under the hood, they're going to check every valve and pipe and tube, everything and drilling down in your operations. The uh, job of your M&A advisor is to take as much of the burden off your shoulders as possible so that you can continue to run your business. Because whether you make a deal or don't make a deal, the most important thing you can do in this process is to continue to run your business profitably and grow it. Because if you don't make a deal, at the end of the process, you wanna make sure that your business is still viable and profitable and growing. If you do make a deal, you wanna make sure that, that your uh, business is running well because there will probably be deferred payments and your ability to maximize your recovery on the deferred payments comes from the continued growth and profitability of your business. So post LOI in the due diligence process, there are basically, uh, I believe three aspects you wanna look at in due diligence. There's the virtual data room, there's the question and answer process, and there's the expert meetings or management meetings. And what's important here is that while your advisors will be able to pull together from you all the documentation necessary to fill the data room and then to, to provide further documentation when there are additional requests post LOI from the buyer. That could be hundreds or thousands of documents, hundreds or thousands of data points. And the question answer process and the management meeting process is where the buyer tries to figure out how do all of those data points fit together in a way that's going to make it profitable for them to make this deal for you. And that's where it's really important to understand that as an M&A advisor, you don't just have to have the skill set to build the data room and to manage a data room and, and to present the data room and to, to uh, set up the management meetings. It's also crucial that you have the industry experience and knowledge to understand the, the inner workings of your business at both a macro level and a micro level, because it is up to your M&A advisor to take those hundreds or thousands of data points and connect them into a storyline, a story that tells why your business is so valuable and why it fits so well with that buyer. And the ability to tell that story in a manner that makes the deal enticing to the buyer and that makes it defensible in due diligence increases the certainty of close. So pre-LOI, the market map and the fit goes to certainty of close. Post-LOI, 
the, the ability to tell your story and defend your story and connect those thousands of data points in a manner that makes the deal appealing, it increases the certainty of close and gets you to the end point. We at Logison have built an engagement team that focuses on experience and knowledge in the industry. We are not M&A advisors who do logistics. We are logistics veterans who have run logistics companies. We've walked a mile in your shoes. So we understand your business at both the macro and micro level, and we are well-suited to tell your story. We look forward to having the opportunity to tell your story. Thank you for your time.